That right there is why you want to print nylon. Amazing. There's barely a dent in this thing. I don't think ABS or PLA would stand up to such abuse. I hit that with a steel hammer. I hit that with a steel hammer like five times, and there's barely a dent in the thing. The impact resistance of nylon is pretty amazing. This is why you can make some really functional, really strong stuff. This is why you want to print nylon. There's a lot of skepticism towards 3D printed parts. Like, you'll hear people often say, oh, you, you can't 3D print that, or oh, that's just a printed part, it's not strong enough, or what are you going to make with a 3D printer, or, you know, like, you can just make plastic things with a 3D printer. But people often forget that a lot of the things around us, the camera that's filming this right now, is mostly made of plastic. One of the most functional plastics we have is nylon. Nylon is definitely worth the trouble, to me at least, to be able to 3D print. The biggest things you're gonna to need to change is you need to keep nylon dry. It is extremely hydroscopic, so it absorbs water very quickly, much faster than either ABS or PLA, for that matter. Obviously, when you're not printing with nylon, you should keep it in a dry box along with the rest of your filaments with some sort of desiccant. But during printing, it becomes a bit more of a challenge. A 10-hour print will expose your print to a lot of moisture. That moisture is gonna absorb into the filament, and as you're printing, the print quality is going to degrade. So I'm going to show you in this video here on how to build a dry box so that you can print with nylon and avoid it absorbing moisture. I did have a little trouble with warping during this print on my Prusa i3 Mark II on a workbench in my basement. So uh, the ambient air temperature was like probably 60, 65. It's a little cooler in my basement, probably about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. While it generally printed okay and didn't the print completed, it is severely warped, almost too warped to use. I made a second attempt while moving the Prusa into my enclosure that I normally use for my Maker Gear M2, and it printed much better. I also added a giant brim around the outside, 10 millimeters in fact. That allowed me to produce this part. This part is much, much flatter with the brim. I'm pretty terrible at getting cutting the brim off cleanly, and I did nick it a few times. For my application, it's not going to be a big deal. You're not going to see that part of the print anyway. 
and I think this will still work great. So I've been wanting to make this part for my Miata for a while. Uh, I hear these little door bushings can help uh, reduce vibration and increase the stiffness of the door when you close it, so I was kind of curious. Uh, I've seen these machined from Delrin before, and I may end up machining my own from Delrin or actually buying the actual product. I figured this is an excellent opportunity to make 3D prints and parts out of nylon, and this turned out really well. <laughs> Oh, my God.